calculations involving significant figures. You can only be as accurate as your least accurate measurement. So when we're doing calculations, we have to keep up with our significant figures and how accurate we've been throughout the process. When you're multiplying and dividing, your answer should have the same number of significant figures as the least precise measurement. So in this case, 1.34 times 0.04 gives you in the calculator 0.0536. But you have to look at the number of significant figures in our numbers. So this one has one, two, three, or three significant figures. And this one, remember the leading zeros don't count, so we only have one significant figure. In which case, you have to round your answer to the least number of significant figures, which was one. So our answer rounded should be 0 0.05. When you're adding and subtracting, the answer should have the same number of decimal places as the least precise measurement. So if we add 1.34 plus 2.3 in the calculator, you get 3.64. We have two numbers after the decimal and one number after the decimal. So our answer should only have one number after the decimal, or just 3.6. So looking at our first example problem, we're adding, which means you should be looking at decimals. We have one decimal place and two decimal places. So the first thing you've got to do is plug this into the calculator. So for our first one, we're going to have 6.2. Whenever you're trying to do times 10, you're going to do second, and then this comma, which is EE. -E. So that was second, comma, and that should give you a little E on the top. And then negative, this is my negative, and then 4. So 6.2 times 10 to the negative 4th. You do not need parentheses. And you do not need the caret button. Plus 5.70 times 10 to the negative 3 equals. And we get 0.00632. So we get 2.0632. Okay, so we get 6.3 times 10 to the negative 3. And our unit is meters. Do not just put 0, 0, That wouldn't make sense that our answer is just 0, 0. So if the numbers are given in scientific notation, go ahead and put your answer in scientific notation. For number 2, we're multiplying and dividing. Multiplying and dividing both look at sig figs. Since it, both multiplying and dividing look at sig figs, we can just plug it all into the calculator. Doing so correctly, you get 2.062730143. But we need to look at the number of significant figures. 5.78 has 3. 7.009 has 4, and 19.64 has 4. The lowest number is 3, and so I'm going to look at my number and round it to three significant figures. The 6, double check to see if it rounds up. It does not, and so the answer is just 2.06. All right, so let's solve number three together, and then you'll solve four on your own. So on number three, we're multiplying, and we're adding. Because multiplying, we're looking at sig figs, 
and adding and subtracting, when we look at decimals, we have to break this problem apart. You cannot just plug it all into the calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do, according to order of operations, is the parentheses and add that together. So 7.8 plus 1.2009 gives you 9.009. So 9.0009. We have one decimal place and four decimal places. So we need just one decimal place or 9.0. Now I can plug it all into the calculator. So on this next one, we have 1.82 times 10 to the negative fifth times 9.40 times 10 to the 6th times 9.0. Enter. 1,539.72. Get figures. So our answer has to have two. So we get 1,500, or you could have said 1.5 times 10 to the third. Either one of those would have been fine. Go ahead and pause the video and try number four on your own. Just like number three, we have multiplication, division, and subtraction. So we have six eggs and decimals. So we have to break up the problem just like before. So we're going to subtract. And we get 1.584. Looking at my decimals, I've got three decimals and three decimals. So this already has three decimals, so I'm good. I don't need to round that at all. And now I can plug it in and multiply and divide. And I get 0 0.002699823232. Since I'm multiplying and dividing, I need to look at significant figures. This one has 5, 2, and 4. My lowest number is 2, which means I need to round this to two significant figures. 1, 2. Be careful. Always look to see if that rounds up which it does, giving you 0 0.0027. If you put 0 0.0026, that is incorrect. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Just like the last two problems, we have division, multiplication, and addition. So we do our addition first. Three decimals, three decimals, three decimals, so we're good. Now our multiplication and division. And we get 8.8. We have three significant figures, four and five. Lowest is 3, and so that rounds up, and you should have gotten 8.44.